Smash Ultimate is out, baby. The floodgates have been released. There was a little leakage here and there. Some people got the game early, but that's all water under the bridge now. I'm, I'm totally not upset. <laughs> Uh, but now the game is coming in full force. We got millions of casuals playing with items. We got the pros labbing out tech to catch up to the pirates. 24 hour variety streams and just all kinds of content creators nutting out videos to be the first one for the views. <laughs> so here I am to talk about my new favorite character, Incineroar. <laughs> is what I would have said if they hadn't just announced Joker from Persona 5. What the fuck, Sakurai? You're a literal god. No. No, focus. The first video is going to be about the King of the Ring. Focus up. Don't let the ADHD take- I love Evil Tony the Tiger. I really do. He's my favorite currently available character, based solely on design. I got no idea how good he is in terms of competitive viability. It's way too early in the game's lifespan to say who's good, who's not, who deserves buffs, nerfs, whatever. He has plenty of time to rise to the top. What I do know, however, that he's a giant fucking wrestler cat and it's the sickest shit in the world. Incineroar is the closest equivalent in Smash to my favorite fighting game archetype, the Grappler. He's super slow, well, relatively at least, because everyone in this game is fast as fuck, boy. But in exchange for the loss of speed, he gets to instill the psychological fear of getting a sick read into a grab and dishing out some of the biggest damage in the game, accompanied by the sickest, most satisfying sounds and animations. You just pick a motherfucker up and go, uh, uh, slam the ass on the floor, uh, and whatever else IFC Yipes would say. Oh, that's a slam a door you get to bully people, you intimidate the shit out of them with your big muscles and your two-hit combos that'll kill them. You make them feel small. If they ever step to you, you just slam their ass in a locker. The jungle is yours, kid. You rule the school. That feeling is pure ecstasy. You know, until they stop being afraid of you and figure you out, then just like regular bullies, all your power is gone. But until that happens, it's the best feeling in the world, and don't you forget it. Macho Man Randy Savage! Each and every move is a reference to pro wrestling. It'll be the easiest and quickest Relax Alex video ever. We got German suplexes, backdrops, giant swings, Irish whips, references to botched moves, Mike Hagar's lariat, the fucking knife edge jab complete with the fucking stomp because in wrestling they stomp to give the jab more sound to make it seem more real. <gasps> There's just so much love and attention given to each move, it's got all of that Nintendo polish. Incineroar is the ultimate homage to wrestling, not only because he kind of looks like the Macho Man, Randy Savage, but because he was designed as a heel wrestler. And for those of you who don't know what a heel is, it's time for a quick wrestling lesson. Each storyline in wrestling, or redneck anime for those of you not in the know, involves feuding between two types of people, a face and a heel. A face is the perceived good guy. He does no wrong, he fights for the fans, he never cheats unless he was cheated first or it's to counter their cheating, and he's generally pushed in a positive light by the writers so that the fans will cheer for him as he overcomes all the odds that are stacked against him to win the championship. Heels are the exact opposite. Lie, cheat, and steal. That's the way of a heel. No tactic is too dirty as they use every underhanded trick in the book to sneak in a win, keep their title. Who's heel and whose face changes all the time? Sometimes they just flip on a dime. Like, I don't know, being part of one of the most dominating tag team groups and then stabbing your friends in the back. Oh my god! What's that? He's assaulting Ambrose! To join the evil bad guys, firmly cementing yourself as a heel for three years? I don't know, something like that. Anyway, my point is that heels are evil but they're evil for show, and that's what Incineroar is, and that's why I absolutely love him. Look at him! He looks evil as shit! He looks like he hangs out with Ganondorf and Bowser and goes and kicks puppies at the pound! Incineroar is designed this way, he embraces the life of a heel, he does it for the fans, he hypes the crowd up by getting people to boo at him, he taunts all the time like a Four Glory player, he holds all the attention by kicking everyone's asses in the most chauvinistic of ways, and he does it all for the fans. He loves his fans, that's why he does it. That's why people wrestle, they do it for the fans. And that's why I love him. And that's why he's the cream. Cream, cream, the cream, the cream of the crap. Oh.